Hi. <laughs> Welcome to episode 18 of the Little Red Mitten podcast. I'm Carrie. And I'm Jolyn. We are the owners of the Little Red Mitten in St. Thomas, Ontario, Canada. And the dyers behind Leo and Roxy Bianco. Yay. Yay. Episode 18. That's going to be a big number. Is it? It is. Yep. It is. Like it's not 543 like the some of them, but yeah. For us. For us that we actually held our shit together for 18 episodes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah us. We've, we've been pretty consistent all things considered. Now that we're well halfway through our 100-day challenge. <laughs> are we? Yes, we are. Yeah. So don't let the facade of our regular podcast fool you. We're halfway through the 100-day challenge, and we're just figuring out how we're going to handle our <laughs> Oh, Not yay us. Um, yeah, what? so... If it's not flying by the seat of our pants, I don't know what would be more us, really. That's true. That's true. If, so we, we, need... if we have to have it all figured out in order to jump into it, then we're not going to do it. So. No, that's true. <laughs> um, so one of the one of the comments that we have, is this lipstick totally in your in your face? Uh, no, no, I didn't. I didn't notice it until you just asked. I didn't notice anything. Oh, okay. It's a little. I, it's a little darker than, like, I guess I. But you probably most of the time don't actually have lipstick on when we're around each no. other. But I just um, felt really pale today, so I put on lipstick, and I'm just looking at myself in the monitor, and it's like, whoa, girl, that's a yeah, lot that's of lipstick. But that's all right. I digress. Okay, so one of the comments on YouTube. Um, suggested us to is it wool and honey is that the store in michigan the yeah. yarn shop in michigan oh, wool and honey or honey and wool or yeah yeah so on I their blog they had um and we th were thinking that it was named after a customer but it was called the gideon method of tackling your whips so jolyn i'm gonna let you explain oh, yeah. that a little bit you went and read more of it i thought you would explain it Oh, okay, I can. I can. I was just being trying to be nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be fair. Okay. So no, apparently... because actually I, I was gonna go reread the blog again. And then I'm like, oh no, Carrie went and read it and jumped all <laughs> over it. So she can explain it because she's yeah. So okay, I, I didn't go read it again. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the Gideon method of tackling your whips is that you pull five whips. So you've got a five whip rot rotation. You just, you concentrate on five whips at a time. If your new Sorry. whip whip is work in progress. It is Wool and Honey in Cedar, Michigan. Cedar, Michigan. Okay. Never yeah. been, but that sounds like a road trip post-COVID. That sounds like a post-COVID road trip. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I feel like I'm all over the place. Michigan is right beside us for those folks who don't know. Anyways, it's not that far. It shouldn't be that far, Cedar, unless it's up in the Upper Peninsula or something. Well, I could find out. Okay. So anyways, you take all of your whips. You pick five that you want to work on. You've well, got a five. Nope. A five. Go ahead. It's, it's up in the upper um, by Traverse. Tra Traverse, Traverse City. City? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a se seven and a half hours. Okay, well, that's not too bad. I'll take well, it's it. It's not too to bad, but considering we can get to Michigan in an hour 10. Yeah. It is in there for sure. Still smell a road trip. That's okay. Yeah. So five, how many times can I cite five whips? Five whips, five whip <laughs> rotation. It's going to be a drinking game. Yeah. Um, and then you set a, a, an amount of time that you're going to dedicate to each of these whips. So um, I've waffled back and forth but i'm going to go with the recommended 12 hours per whip 
So you work on, if it's a pair of socks, you might be able to get them done in, in the 12 hours. If it's a sweater, maybe not, you just get a good chunk of time into it. So once you commit those 12 hours on that whip, then you move on to your next whip. Is that per month or is it just, you just work through the whips in 12 you hour work, increments? You just work through them in 12 hour increments. So you work on, what, okay, whip number one, you work on it for 12 hours or until it's done, whichever comes first. Yeah. Obviously. And then you move on to your next one and you work on it for 12 hours and or until it's done, whichever comes first. So it, for me, it feels like if, if there is 12 hours left in a whip, it's probably gonna be about a week. At two hours a day, if I can get two hours a day in, it's gonna yeah. be about a week. Um, but you know, it could be for, depending on what you're doing, you're at home, if you're in a knit, you've got your knit on, like that could be just, you know, a little more than the weekend or something like that. Yeah. But, it could be uh, a day. It could be a 12 <laughs> hour day of knitting. Oh it could be a 12 hour day. Knit like it's your job. Yeah. Um, so, um, I don't know where I should go first. Okay, so to help me implement this, I downloaded an app called Multitimer. Um, it's that one right there. Yeah. And once you open, oh, once you open it up, it takes you to another page. So then you've got a list of timers and you can label your timers and set them for however long you want. And um, so right now I'm on Gilmore Girl Socks and you can't tap into it. You can just pause and unpause. Okay. So, and you can also set it up for Siri so that you can, uh, so she recognizes voice. So you can say resume, whatever that timer is called or pause. Yeah. Um, or you could just do old school and do it on a piece of paper. So um, yeah, I downloaded that app when I asked you what it was the other day and I haven't really started using it. Like I put like two things on there. I'm real, I know I'm bad at like, um remembering to start a timer yeah or but I'll play around with it it might it might be something that works for me or it might not so far and we'll look at what projects I've been working on in a second but um so far for my one what I did was I timed myself so it was one of my blankets so a row yeah it's about was about 15 minutes so I figured out like it I think if I remember, I think that math was like 46 rows would be 12 hours worth of knitting on that crochet okay. on that, on that yeah. blanket. So for that, for that one, it was like, I'm not even going to ever look at a timer when I get 46 rows, which when I started that, that also could have been my rest of my ball. I wasn't exactly sure how much was left in my ball, but I was pretty sure it was going to take me to finish, to actually finish it. So yeah. So depending, depending what it is, I might set up those kind of ways of measuring. So even for a sock, like this one's not self-striping, but if I know in one of my self-stripings that, you know, one of the thickness of that stripe is 20 minutes of knitting, yeah, then I kind of know how many rows or something I need to do. Um, that will probably work better for me. And then okay. if it's a project, if it's a project that you can't really measure it that way, then I'll try to be on top of a timer or something. Yeah. I mean, I've already messed up because I, I was knitting on these in the car yeah. and, oh yeah, we'll go back to that in a second, but I probably have an hour, an hour and a half of knitting time on these that I forgot to set the timer. So but, like, what would, yeah. what would you do with that? Then you're just like, okay, when your timer gets to 1030 done, whatever, like, you know, you don't have, it doesn't have to have been on your timer in order for it to count. Yeah. Or you no, can be no, picky and be true. like, but also like, for instance, the rest of this sock, I'm ready to do the heel flap and stuff. This isn't 12 hours. Right. So basically, if this is my next project, I'm knitting this sock until it's completed before I pick up another project. So I don't yeah. have to worry about a timer or anything because I know 
it's not 12 hours. So if I wanted to know how much time it is, then I could do a timer to start. Yeah, that's why I'm not preparing. stressing too much because I know that um, what I've got left in these socks, it's not 12 hours worth of work. So yeah, it'll be fine. So I'm almost at the toe on this pair or on this one. And then I, I'm past the gusset on this one. So definitely okay, not so 12 hours. With socks, I don't know if you have any that are like this. Are, are all the socks that you have in your current whip um, piles, are they um, second socks or like yeah, do you have any where socks. you're... Yeah. So what would you do if it's, you know, you're partway through your first sock? Are you committing to working 12 hours on that pair then? Or when you finish sock number one, can you move on to a different project? No, I would treat the pair as, as the part of the rotation. You would treat the pair as part of the rotation, not the sock? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm doing it opposite. I will treat the sock okay. as part of the rotation. Yeah, okay. I don't, I don't like, I don't typically like to work on um, socks for like, like if I had to work on it, like just a sock for a week straight. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of want the. Some yeah, variety. I yeah, I think I want some variety. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. That'd be good. Um, yeah, so I. I implemented this, I don't know, it was a couple of days after our podcast, after we were looking at the comments and yeah, um, uh, I don't know, Mark and I had to go somewhere right after the podcast and I ended up, I, I ended up finishing my dishcloth. Yay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's loose because look at that. There's a lot of strings. <laughs> well, there's, there's two strings. I'm I not, I'm not sure them. if it. I'm not sure if a dishcloth can be finished if you haven't done the only thing that's that needs true. finishing on it. <laughs> yeah, but that's also, true. Also, so, I would totally leave it like that, so. Yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna call that dishcloth. done. Um, yep, so I've got a dishcloth and then I finished, uh, I set my timer for, for 12 hours and within an hour I had these ones finished. I love that you set a timer for it though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what so, are those ones? These are, I don't know how to say this. It's queer, queer fibers. Oh yeah. I think it's Q-U-A-U-R-E fibers down in the States. I discovered her with the whole um, tits out collection. A couple of years ago. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember your, your yeah. tits out striping one. Yeah, that was. That's really right. Fun. So, um, so this colorway is called "We're All Mad Here," and do you know what? This is the third pair of socks that I got out of this too. Seriously? I got three pairs. So I've got <laughs> these are these are the longest. Then I've got a shorter pair of crew, and then I've got a shorty. And I just what discovered size are her that. Skeins? And are you, you're using a different yarn for your heels yeah. and toes? Except for these ones, I just did a fold over, fold over hem. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, so that was crazy. And I only discovered that the other day because I did a load of socks. And as I was hanging them, it's like, hey, wait maybe a second. You need to, maybe you need to put all of them on, the, on a scale and maybe, maybe you got a fat skein by chance. Maybe, maybe. That seems like I love them seems like a lot but yeah so um are the toes and heels different colors yes they are <laughs> <laughs> on, pur I, on purpose I no, have no idea what this yarn was none I could not find it I looked in my scrap basket uh, I don't know it's either in my scrappy blanket but but you when you went to the second it. when you went to the second one you knew you had to you knew you were using a different color no, yeah. because you couldn't find the original. That's right. So whatever, they're close enough. Look at how crazy they are. Do you think it matters what color the toe is? It does not matter. I actually like it more. Yeah. <laughs> so that's you that. almost should you almost should have went blue or something. You should have went like way different. Uh, my shorties have blue heels Did and they? toes. Yeah. yeah. So that was that. Um, 
And then at that point, I reset all my timers to start in earnest. So I figured my way of, um, of picking my whips, so I wasn't playing favorites to any whips, uh, was to let my daughter pick them. So um, she picked her her stripy sweater, the 1979 Raglan. Oh, she's mean to you. She is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> she wanted that for September for going back to school. And then it was supposed to be for Christmas. And I didn't get it done. And then. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't for September. You didn't start it until after. You took that with us when we went to Toronto at the beginning of November and you had just started it. That's right. That's right. I'm thinking Christmas of a different thing. sweater. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, so 1979 Raglan is there. So uh, my number one spot is my Christmas with the Gilmore socks. Um, number two spot is my 1979 Raglan for Bridget. Um, number three spot is my Jack and Sally socks. Mm -hmm. Number four spot is my Maybell blanket, the flower crochet. The little, the little flowers with the white around? Yeah. Nice. Um, hey, Bridge. Okay. You, you can text You talk. Me. I think my front door is wide open. Oh, where are the birds? Oh, they're in there, <laughs> the Avery. 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 <laughs> Avery. <laughs> so. There's Frankie saying hello. Hi, Frankie. So I'm not going to, I kind of want to wait for Gary to hear me, but yeah, I don't, I'm not going to assign numbers to mine when I, I'll have my current project that I'll put, you know, 12 hours in or till complete. And then, um, and then I'll choose what's next. Did you hear me? No, I was, no. yeah, the front door was like wide open. I was sitting that's here weird. and I felt, I kind of felt a draft and I thought, yeah. oh, maybe that's Bridget. And uh, no, just the front door blew open. Oopsie. Yeah. I heard Frankie, hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's such a, anyway. a watch parrot. Okay, what were you saying? I was saying, so you, you listed yours in your number one, your number two. I'm not yeah. gonna do that either. This is gonna leave me that kind of freedom of moving between like where, see, between projects without getting that antsiness of like stuck on something. I have my oh. current project. It's 12 hours or till complete. Yeah. And then I've got my, but I have my five projects. I kind I think I only have four right now, but I have my five projects picked out and then it's like, okay, I'm at 12 hours. I can choose what's next. Damn it. That's a good idea. <laughs> you can, you can still change your mind. Why don't but I think I don't, these things through? But yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not committing to what order they're going in. But I have to go through those four projects or four or five projects before I can go back to that first one. Same thing. It goes to the bottom of the pile. Right. They're just at, at least for the first however many they're not in an order. Which I when I picked mine, I picked stuff that's going to be done in under twelve hours, all but one. Okay. Because I thought I didn't. I didn't really feel like I would enjoy. Um, you know, any of the projects that are more than 12 hours, I don't think I would, I didn't think I would enjoy working on it for 12 hours, getting into it, getting progress on it, and then not seeing it for like five weeks. If it, if I had all the big projects going. Yeah. So I, um, I figured if I keep a good mixture of what ones that need consistent work on it to get to start getting progress on them and then ones that will be done faster I'll move through them faster and not get as bored yeah that's a good idea so, um, well so I, my parameters were that I want it to have I want it to always have a blanket yeah so I I have to include a blanket so I guess obviously the blankets are going to take take the longest so I was, it was funny. I'm, I was thinking of the same thing. I was thinking um, one of the next one or two that should get added to mine is my cozy, coziest memories blanket. Yeah. That will be an easy one to count because it's, I'll have to, like, I'll do a square and time it. 
and kind of, and then do that one based on squares. So basically if a square takes me an hour, then I have to put 12 squares on it before I can move on to the next project. Yeah, um, oh, that's good idea. And then that one being in rotation like every few weeks is fine because I will get sick of it. <laughs> and then, but it will get process, it will get progress, you know, all year long or whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking the same thing. I probably want a blanket on there what the the one that i did add right now that i probably have more than 12 hours on is my parachutey mm. that tank top and fingering weight so i yeah. still have quite a bit of the back to do so i figured that one could be would be good um like leading up to spring to just kind of maybe actually get some of my spring stuff done yeah one time yeah oh that'll be good yeah good good so yeah, I still have um, I still have one one whip space. So I'll get Bridget okay. to. Okay. Oh, oh right, you mind? had a plan. Yeah. I had a plan. Yeah, you. I just remembered that you had a plan. <laughs> what plan? I forget. The survey. Oh yeah, yeah. But I want to, I don't, I didn't write down. Oh, yes, I did write down what mine are. Okay. So the five ones that I pulled, you know, last week when we decided we were going to do this yeah. was my granny stripe blanket, my basics socks, which uh, wherever, I'll grab that in a second. Um, parachute, my work socks. And oh, so I grabbed all socks basically. No, I grabbed okay. a blanket, a parachute, and then three socks. Okay. So those are. That's just like me. Nice. I just um, finished this today. It's actually damp. I washed it up. So <laughs> that's, that's my first sock in the basic socks. So technically this week, I've finished two of them. Because for me, that's finished. It's still one of my fives. It just gets to go to the bottom of the pile now because one sock's done. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Those um, look great, by the way. Yeah. Katrina, Katrina did the same pattern. This is so funny. So um, so this was mine again. Yeah. It's our it's the, it's the new basics yarn in classic gray and Pacific blue. This is Katrina's. No. In classic gray and the purple. <laughs> And you didn't even talk to one another that just happened. Well, I gave like I asked Katrina to do some samples before the before the um, before we had the photos done yeah. and, uh, you know, got the yarn tour and stuff like that. And no, we didn't like. Yeah, we didn't really plan. We didn't plan it by That's any hilarious. means. Yeah. So I'll show all those after. Okay, so my five are the granny stripe, like I said. So besides weaving in ends, it is done. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know how tall it is. Let's see. Put a couple progress keepers on it. I just want to pinch and zoom to make it bigger. So it's like to my chin, but it's wow. also almost it's almost my win wingspan so it actually might be yeah. taller this way is it oh it's almost square oh that's cool but yeah that's yeah, it's great that's a um, fancy ass blanket and <laughs> it is it's awesome yeah. uh and it's crochet so this was all the balls that i had i have to weigh it i'll weigh it and put those um, numbers on the ravelry page but yeah. if i if i don't like the length I'll grab another ball and add a few more inches. But as yeah. far as right now, this is what I started out to do with the amount of balls I had grabbed when I started the project. Yeah. And I actually think I really like it. It's a good lap blanket. It's pretty, it's actually pretty big. So oh, definitely. That's, full, that's folded in quarters. So that's gorgeous. But yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. The cool, cool thing about like crochet or modular stuff. It's like you can consider it finished for a while and then go, no let's add a little bit of length to that or yeah oh that's perfect oh I, I actually got off i got off of track because there was before i started 
the Gideon way. I finished the project before that. Okay, hold on. Let's step out of frame for a second. So. Was it a dishcloth? It wasn't a dishcloth. <laughs> oh, that's such a weak FO. <gasps> Look at you. Oh my gosh, all the Noro all the time. My blanket's that... Noro. This is Noro. Wow. I grab... I grab so one. that we just that is the tannis. Yeah, this is skylight. Um, and yeah, I did it in those, which is Noro Silk Garden in color number one, which I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's it's like good. a white base with like little bits of bright colors all yeah. speckled through there. And then this is just Leo mohair silk. Yeah. Amazing. And yeah. Look at you. So you were really digging your heels in for that 100 day challenge. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, none of this took takes any, like, took any time, right? Yeah. The blanket took a little bit of time. It's the only thing I've worked on for. Probably a little more than a week or about a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so it, it definitely was like, a it was 12 hours. Um, yeah. I didn't count when, how many rows when I was finished. I think I was supposed to do like 46 and I think I, it's like 40 or something like that because I ran out of yarn yeah. um, to hit that 12-ish hour mark. So, cool. but yeah. Well, you're well on your way then so am i i'm like totally lost so since we podcasted last i finished this first yeah then i started the gideon challenge yeah and so i've only worked on that blanket and the basic stock was like my in the car um in the car knitting and yeah. so i got so so i finished this and i finished this in the blanket basically just now both of these just got finished yeah. Um, so these were, so this and the blanket were both counted in my numbers. So I don't know. So what should I, what do I need to work on next? So I picked up my work sock for talking right now, but this doesn't count, right? No, that's what I forgot to say too, that I read in that Gideon method blog, um, that you're allowed one freebie as well. So your freebie can be for the car knitting. Just something that you have in your handbag so waiting room yeah. car and that doesn't count towards your timers if you want like you it, you're not tied to that but if you want a freebie you can have a freebie so what would you do if you have a freebie would it be a sixth project or would it be just one of the five that you've chosen as your next five that can be yeah like oh we're talking right now so that's the one i'm gonna work on or yeah yeah that's what i'll be one of your five yeah, because I think that's how I've, I'm got, too. I've got three pairs of socks, so it's not not that big of a deal. Um, uh, yeah, I've, I've got mostly socks, so yeah, I think that so, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so if you follow me on Instagram, <laughs> when I was figuring out um, what was going to be in the rotation. I had in my head that I had my Christmas at the movies area 51 socks that had to be finished, mm -hmm. reached into the bag to get them and guessed what? Mm -hmm. They were already friggin' done. Yeah, you had finished it, a couple pairs in between. This, in, this in between pair, New Year's and yeah, that was this and one. And your surgery. Oh, okay. Um, so between my surgery, I finished, uh, sorry, this is Christmas at the movies that I finished and I finished Shit Creek. And then I thought that I had to finish my cozy, the cozy knitter ones. Yeah. And they were done. So, and I don't remember finishing them. So I'm thinking that I probably finished them the night before my surgery. 
and I was like just in a bad headspace and I it's erased from my memory nice look at them yeah all. so yay that's a lot of socks I since know since December 1st since December 1st and then these ones and then my Jack and Sally's um, are those are those all the ones how how many did you cast on at the beginning of December there that you were going to do as admin um Six. Six. So, so I have, three. I have, uh, these three are done. These are pretty close. My Jack and Sally and my, the mitten by full moon fibers. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I've got one done. I don't think the mitten was one of your ones you cast on for Christmas. Cause you, you had cast on all ones that you had ordered as advents. They were all like self striping. Okay. Well, maybe it was just a self imposed thing that I wanted to get them because they were, they're called their okay. Christmas colorway, right? It was six feet, six feet apart under the mistletoe. Okay. Now you're confusing me. You said the mitten by full moon fibers. Now yeah. you're talking about the Christmas <laughs> colorway. I asked how your brain was the other day and <laughs> I don't know. It's great. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not good my brain is not good yeah so how are you feeling about running the both companies by yourself from now until eternity until eternity yeah you better get your brain fixed wow okay no you're right <laughs> those are two totally different colorways the mitten I've got one sock done I wound up six feet apart under the mistletoe and didn't start them because I was in over my head with these. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. We're going to, we're going to do, we're going to do a Christmas in July. So save okay. the six feet apart under the mistletoe and we'll do Christmas colors and Christmas cast on whether it's, whether it's Christmas theme stuff or Christmas gifts, we'll do a. Okay. That sounds Christmas good. Christmas in July knit along. Yeah. That sounds good. Um, yeah. So with the blanket done and um, the ones I have on, we need to add something else to my rotation. And I think we'll do a survey and let everybody vote and decide what they want to see finished out of my whip. So- um, You know what they're gonna, I think they're gonna pick. Uh, oh, Rhapsody and Cables? Yeah, that's what yeah. they're gonna pick. Yeah. They always vote for Rhapsody and Cables if, yeah. if allowed. Um, I'll let Katrina choose which ones she can start and like choose four to vote from or something like that and then let everybody vote and then I really have zero say. Yeah, that's um, a good idea. So I think we need okay. to do that. And that's a good idea. Yeah, and that's where I'm at. I think I'll have quite, a, like, even if I don't get much knitting time, I think yeah. I'll have quite a few things finished because, like, so my work sock here, this is the second sock, and I'm on the heel flap. So, yeah. um, and then I have my indigo leaves sock. Yeah. Um, I did, I did bring everything with me. <clears throat> my indigo leaves sock. So here's the first sock by yeah. Hohe, a pattern by Hohe. And these are, even though they're patterned all the way through, they're DK weight. So they're super, super quick. So yeah. I've already got, I've got them cast on and just the ribbing, the ribbing done. Okay. So that's another one of my current wh whips. So I don't know, how long do you think a DK weight sock will take? Oh, not very. No. No. So I think I'll six be six to eight hours, maybe. Yeah, I think I'll be pretty good. So we might be able to let people like the top two votes might be the ones yeah. that get put into rotation. Yeah. And I can't, I think last podcast, I think I have 13 pairs of socks. I don't know your breakdown, but you were at 24 whip. Yeah. And I think 13 of them were socks. So, um, and two are done already that's good one by accident um yeah it shouldn't and they're all single socks at this point 
did you compare did you compare your active whips to the list on Ravelry? Like was that was that one that you just found? Was it one of the ones um, that count in the 24? Which one? You, the the pair that you just found. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I know because Katrina texted me that she was mm -hmm. confused about the cozy knitter and the Christmas at the movies. And I didn't know yeah. what the hell she was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what's happening. Are you opening up Ravel? You know, you're not, you're in a paper book. I um, yeah, they're in my active whip list. On paper? Yeah. So I just crossed them off. And that list equals 24? Yeah. No, 23. Um, I think you're forgetting something. Okay, so keep it open to your active whip list. Okay. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, Carrie's Active Whips, the 1979 Raglan. Yeah. Granny Stripes Blanket. Yeah. Uh, West Coast Cardigan. Yeah. Um, your Maybell Flower Blanket. Yeah. Um, your Sock Tubes, the, that's the We're All Mad Here one, which you just finished. Yeah. Persian Tiles. Yeah. Totally totally rad ribbed socks the one in in um ginger snap yarn yeah um super simple dishcloth yeah coffee talk socks yeah rocket tea mm -hmm. totally rad rib socks in the mitten yeah little cotton rabbit yeah um cranked tubes in commercial sock yarn, um, that's just counting as one. Ah, uh, yeah. On here. Yeah. Who told me you had 24? Um, cranked sock leftovers and cranked, I don't know. Oh, short a pair of shorties that were cranked. Yeah. I think. Totally rabbed rib socks in Leon Roxy Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> uh, short, shorty sock set by Summer Lee. Yeah. Compass sweater. Yeah. Vanilla socks in Area 51. Oh, those yeah. are the Jack and Sally. Yeah. Um your cozy your cozy knitter Christmas advent. Yep. Your European road road trip. Yep. And Gilmore Christmas. Okay, which is it's finished i think your gilmore christmas is one of the three that you showed finished right yeah and then there was three commercial crank tubes in addition to that's, the other that's probably how it got up to 24 from 21 the three right because that yeah the, i knew that those were the ones that i missed counting when we did that okay okay yeah so that's right very good look at us Numbers haven't changed. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Um, so, yeah. What else do you have? Any other whip? Any other whip business? Um, that's all I've worked on. I, yeah, I have, I have my four I picked out here and my parachute is in the bag. Um, but I've completed, completed two things, nothing new cast on. So I'm at 18. Okay. So I'm at uh, 21. Cause the dishcloth is done. The, uh, oh, we're all mad here, cranked and the cozy knitter. Nice. Yay. Um, I have, oh, I 
can't bend over. Look what I got. What is that? Is it Canadian stuff? Yeah, it's um, from Tangled Stitch, Kelly. Oh yeah. Um, nice. All Canadiana. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Just a little sock bag, because I don't have enough of those. <laughs> exactly what you need another project bag <laughs> that's great i love it it's really Got cute feathers and trees and deer and antlers and mountains yep i always find it it came in the mail you ordered it and it came in the mail yeah i always find it funny the last little while so uh, monica was showing me her floss she bought floss from caroline yeah and like it got shipped to her house, which I just, I think that's so cute. And then Noelle was here yesterday. Okay. You've got the, you've got the bag from Kelly, right? Like oh it's yeah. Just like, yep. We're just sending things in the mail to each other. Did Supporting you get the gift the that, post. that I sent home for you? Yes. Did you open it? Oh no. Okay. I, I just got confused. I think so. I got Sarah came over. Oh, okay, yeah. Where did I put mine? This is from Sarah? That's from Sarah, yeah. Okay, so this is from Fold It. Uh, Gavin Canning out of um, Toronto. Um, he's on Etsy. I checked him out. And look at this. I think he's in Guelph, isn't he? Um, I don't know. Etsy said Toronto. Okay. Oh, and you got a little origami llama uh El llama or El yeah yeah cute and my little flamingo super i cute. love all the flowers in in the uh yeah flamingo love very it very cute we have to do a pin parade we need to get that together yeah we've yeah. been saying it for you know almost a year but yeah hi, hi frankie you see her oh yeah yeah she was like Stand to me I did for a second there. And then I'm also trying out these happy ears. What are they? Earplugs, reusable earplugs. Okay. And it's their starter pack. So they send you a small, a medium, and a large. So you can uh, figure out what size you are. Just I know that's random. No, no noise is bothering you or what? Yeah. Okay. So where did, where do you get those from? Um, they're from Vancouver. Okay. Yeah. Like you, you buy them directly from them though? Like you order yeah. from, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I saw them on Instagram. Am I the only person in the world that buys shit off of Instagram? No, you're not the only person in the world, but you do buy a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you're easily, you're easily suggested suggestible suggestible yeah. um, influence influence sure I let's do know. that word either way yeah so um, yeah Bridget asked me that the other day she said do you ever buy anything off of sponsored ads on Instagram it's like hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> my boots I bought boots off of Instagram I just leap of faith yeah here's my money <laughs> The spot, you know, you've known this. How many for how many years that we've been sharing Instagram accounts? Remember, all the ads I get because Carrie bought something. You know yeah. how well the internet's following us. It's like, oh, Carrie bought a backpack. Now all I have <laughs> is backpack ads. <laughs> <laughs> the most embarrassing one. The underwear. Did Mark get new underwear. <laughs> Sacks underwear all over my Instagram. <laughs> it's like it's insane yeah it's oh. bizarre um okay yes yeah, so I did get a package yesterday and I did not open it you did not open it okay no I um I it's 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 not from me and I you didn't have to open it on the podcast I just thought it would be fun to make it sit by your chair for a day without you <laughs> opening it <laughs> I said take this home to your mom and tell her she can't open it till we record Anyway, it's from somebody else. You can open it. Oh, okay. Do it. Do it. I want to know what's in it. I tried to peek. 
but they did a good job of hiding whatever's in there, so. Okay, so it's in a fancy box. I really tried to peek. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> now, now I'm actually gonna have to actually open it to peek, so I just put it all oh. back in. <laughs> Oh, I know who this is from. Oh, cute. Oh my Little gosh. Christmas tree. So cute. Christmas tree ornaments. There's two of them. So this was, this was, hi Frankie. So I've got quite a few flamingos now for my tree. But, um, so Lisa from Codependent Knitters uh, texted me. She texted me a picture and, and they're from Canadian Tire. Um, this was in obviously in December. So um, she said, have you seen these? And I said, no, they're from Canadian Tire. I, you recognize they were from Canadian Tire. I said, oh, I'll have to go and check them out. So um, I went to Canadian Tire at White Oaks and I actually took a picture. I'll send it to Katrina to insert it because it looked like I don't know. It looked like a war-torn third world country. It was, the shelves were empty. It was so sad. All the Christmas ornaments was gone, were gone. And so I sent that back to Lisa and I said, oh, I think I missed the boat on the flamingos. Um, so she said, okay, well, I'm going to get these for you. Instead of flowers for Christmas, I'll get you flamingos. <laughs> flowers for Christmas. Flowers for get well. Yeah. Oh, I'm brain dead. It's not good. So I, I didn't know. I didn't know they came from Lisa, to be honest. I thought they came from Dawn, but Dawn must have, she must have had to send stuff to Dawn and then it was like, yeah. 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 So. Very nice. So I will, uh, I'll contact Lisa. Super cute. I have to find a home for these. So that's, that's it that I've got. That's all I've got. Um, that's all I've got as far as whips. Um, I've got some stuff going on in the store still. Um, you got going on in the store. What do we got going on? We got all sorts of stuff going on in the store. Okay, let, me put my, let me put my sock down, shall we? <laughs> Okay, so we are recording this on Friday, what's the date, 26th yeah. of February. And tomorrow is our launch for our basic sock, sock yarn that's behind me. So yeah, we have getting all of that together for the launch. So I have all the colors to show you. I just pulled out the mini, mini skeins. So, We've got not quite white, that is quite white. This is, this is so funny. I'm going to take these two first. So Carrie named all of these from our little swatches that we chose, that we chose for our, our colors. So this one's not quite white. It's very, very white, isn't it? As yeah. far as yarn goes, yeah, it's very white. And this one's basic black, that's charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like it. It's a real, like it's dark, 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 cool. Yeah. And then I'm amazed that they got that got that white, that white. It's so white. I really yeah. like it. Um, classic gray. This is gonna be this is gonna be the all time favorite. It's gonna be used in everything. Yeah. Raspberry ripple. A little brighter on screen than it is in real life. A little bit more, add a little more blue to it. It's, pink, it's still a pink, but it's. And then Pebble and Queen's Navy. Those, yeah, are awesome. Those are the first six. And then we've got our look at that. Isn't that awesome? Nice. So for the launch tomorrow, we put together mini skein kits of the rainbow 
each end of the other ones so that you can get these six or those six or you can get all 12. So we've got cherry cobbler, Cajun spice, more mustard, garden green, Pacific points. This is the blue that's in my socks. Majestic, that's the purple that's in Katrina's socks. So those are all of the colors. They're all behind me here, ready to go for tomorrow. We have a couple samples. So Katrina did that one sock, but she also did this one. Oh, oh wow. So this is out of Summer Lee's midwinter set. Nice. Um, version two out of the midwinter set. So there's seven, seven of the colors in here. Wow. And to do the whole pair, the full pair, um, Katrina used five grams of each color and 19, 19 grams of the main color. So with just oh. minis to get to do the shorties, you could do it with you can easily do it with like a, a six a six pack set. Use yeah. one, choose one color as the main color and then rotate through your other colors. Yeah, definitely. Sorry, how many how many grams each for the colors? Five. Wow. For so the you pair. Can... So you'd still have 15 left over. So yeah. You could get yeah, four did... pairs of socks out of a hundred gram skein and a pack of minis. Yeah. Yeah, wow. exactly. So anyway, those turned out really nice. Yeah. Those are fun. And then these, the ones that I showed before, it's another Summerlee pattern. Apparently. Yeah. It's all the Summerlee, the Hello Sailor set that just came out a little while ago. Yeah. These are the, the gym socks ones. Yeah. Those and, are awesome. Oh, Katrina put her, the main color 60 grams and the contrast color six grams so that's really nice so this was she actually so even though like you can get this in a mini she had a full size skein of that color and yeah. it's all off this all off the same one for two pair so. those are awesome yeah. i like them i like the length of those ones yeah um i didn't weigh mine but what Katrina said. <laughs> mine's 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 bigger for sure. Um, they're a little looser than I typically do my socks. I kind of wanted to get them done quick for the photo shoot, and um, I thought, oh, I can go up to a two point two five. No, I knit on twos for a reason. Like they're yeah. gonna be, they're okay, they're okay, but uh, they're a little looser than I would have done them. Probably yeah. would have done a two. So. So yeah, I don't know, that's that. Oh, we did some um, shawl kits together too for or like three color combos in the full okay. size games. Yeah, go grab okay. I'll go grab a couple of them. All right. I should probably be talking right now, but. Oh, you're oh very nice. Oh, wow. These, these will be up on the Mittens website. That's yeah. Na navy, purple, and gray. Yeah. I just love them. Just yeah. love them. I want to do Harry Potter stuff. Like, mm. I really want to do Harry Potter stuff. Yeah. This is, again, it's, it's, it's a little brighter than in real life, but. Yeah, I think you could do, you can get away. The, the mustard's a little too must. Oh, that still would make a good, a oh, good yeah. um, Hufflepuff. It's a, a more mature, it's not quite as bright as the color of the yellow, but still. Yeah. Yeah. So. And you know what I love about this line is that, I mean, I'm just looking behind you and it's, such a great way to showcase that one of a kind skein that you have in your stash of hand dyed 
and then mixing it with with a couple of less expensive um uh, of the basics line it's you're not sacrificing quality and it's just making it it's making it more affordable for a wider range of knitters i think yeah i think so too yeah like for instance um patty patty from four city knit girls designed something with the slub from yeah. full moon fibers and she used a skein of leon roxy 8020 but you could bring down the cost of that shawl by using the basics with the slub yeah and getting the same kind of effect it's not released yet i think she's re- like there's definitely stuff over on her page and there's pictures and she showed it on their podcast yeah i think it's released like, like next week or something i'm looking at um i think it's beside pebble our pebble yeah jackson allison's one. that mustard Ooh, i don't know how to point with the camera yeah that one and then that pebble. one yeah yeah like it just um, seems, yeah, it all ties together. It's really nice. So yeah, that could be fun. So uh, it's, I'm, I'm super excited about it. It's so soft. It's so nice mm-hmm. to work with. Um, yeah, it's going to make a great compliment. Sarah made these socks. I should have got a blocker for them. Um, I don't know if these are supposed to be for her or they must be for somebody else because they're way too big for Sarah's little tiny feet. Yeah. The, using the marled with the, with oh, the Pacific yeah. point. That's her wrong side of her color changes. But um, <laughs> oh, those are amazing. They are so, so what, what's this pattern? You, That's the totally rad ribbed. Thank you. Yeah, you have three. You have three of them on the needle, so I hope we can name name it. <laughs> so again, again, Summer Lee. Apparently, we're all about the Summer Lee socks right this second. So definitely, that's awesome. That's awesome. But these are amazing. I just love how these turned out. Yeah. So really nice. If you've gotten a work sock set in the past or whatever, um, you could totally do something like that. You you have the white and the color in the work sock set, so you could do you know color white color mix yeah. mix it up a little bit to make sure you have enough but yeah these are great and then our I, I never know if I've, you've been out of the you're you are out of the loop you poor thing yeah did I tell you I was gonna brand these as this basics oh yeah I think we talked about that a long time ago okay yeah so um so this will be in our basic in our basics line as well yeah yeah that's fantastic we aren't dying on this. It is, um, yeah. So it's going to be part of the basics line. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. um, Tracy, Tracy Miller's um, socks. Uh, Astrid. Astrid. Yeah. That would be fantastic with the minis as well. The basics minis. That would be, yeah. That would be fantastic. We could probably put some. We could put some kits together, like. I don't know why I always all about the pink and the purple, but like, yeah, yeah you could do anything you could do. <gasps> oh, <gasps> there you what? go. Harry so Potter uniform or what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you that, go. There might be Harry Potter kits. <laughs> not tomorrow. <laughs> if not tomorrow. Then. Yeah. Oh, later. that's awesome. Well, the minis will be up, so you can definitely build your own Harry Potter kit, if anything. There's the minis will be up on the website. Yeah. Uh, we're going, we're putting ours up at midnight, at midnight tonight. Yeah. Um, I guess this won't be up until Monday or Tuesday, so but we will be putting that out on Instagram and stuff like that. So, yeah. Good, good. I'm super excited. And exciting. we're going live. We're, well, we will have been live. <laughs> on Saturday yeah so um well I guess we're doing it as a zoom call we're doing it as a zoom call oh really I don't have yeah like people are people are invited oh okay yeah so yes wait a second am um, I coming to this am I coming to the you shop have, you don't you don't have to come to the shop okay you can if you want to okay 
I might want to. Oh, I think that's I've got new things. New things in the store. Um, we got the 50 mohair shades by, I don't know where my camera is, 50 mohair shades by Katia. Yeah. So I bought, I brought three of them up. I'll, uh, I'll get Katrina to put a picture in of yeah. all 50 of them. So it's a mohair, mohair nylon and wool. So it's not a mohair silk. Leo and Roxy's and a lot of like, and Kid Silk Haze is a mohair silk. This is, um, this is a mohair nylon. It's very soft though. It's very yeah. nice. And as little as this looks, like it's the palm of my hand, like it's tiny. It is almost the same size and it's like the same yardage. The ball of Kid Silk Haze. It is 200 meters, 218 yards. It's 20 grams. It's just how tight it's on there and how they, you know, use this cardboard tube for packaging. It just takes up no space at all. It's absolutely lovely. So much better than getting stuff in the donut that we call donuts. I don't know if other people call them donuts. The donut shape balls like Kid Silk Haze that are as a knitter, not a problem. As a person trying to keep them on the shelves <laughs> in a store, it's a problem. They're yeah. messy. But um, donuts yeah. are the nemesis. So, so these are super cute and new in the store. Um, we got a bunch of Noro in. Um, we got silk. I showed I showed this for my sweater. This is the color I did my sweater in. So this is Noro Silk Garden. So the worsted weight silk garden. Yeah, anyway, I grabbed the mohair again because that's what my sweater is. And when I was grabbing that to show it for my sweater, I saw this combo when I was going to grab the mohair. Oh, goodness, yeah. Who wants to make my sweater in these colors, please? Somebody do this. Yeah, definitely. So this is Noro color number 31, Noro Silk Garden in color number 31. And this is a one of a kind. I will make sure it's up on the website as its own listing because we do have quite a bit of it. Um, and it's not really one of a kind. Um, we do have a recipe for it. It just didn't turn out what we wanted, what we were trying to get for that particular use. Um, but I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. So it might need to be named. Um, because so whoever, whoever makes that sweater can send it to me care of the little red men. Oh, you weren't going to give your address out? Just kind of yeah. <laughs> you're about to like rhyme off your address. Um, I grabbed some of the new silk garden sock. So this is a a typical Noro striping. So that's what I used. It's not the same colorway, but that's what I used in this blanket. Is Noro silk garden sock like that? Yes. Yeah. And then I also grabbed a silk garden solo. So the solos in the silk garden are all one color. They don't stripe, but then they have like, it's tweed flecked with like lots of little pops of color. Yeah. So that's what my, my sweater's done in a solo. So it's a white base with all the little pops of color. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, Frankie's going on a walkabout. I don't know. She was flapping up on the top a second I know. ago. Kind of she was sitting up there the and then I saw her climbing down and now she's going to go and eat the, the trim in the bathroom. Um, oh no, she's going upstairs to find Mark. Mm. That's a lovely book. Um, I can't read it because it's backwards on the screen. Uh, Strands of Joy. Yeah, um, it's, yeah it's a color work. It's a color work book. Is um, it um, is it published by Lane? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought because it's the same caliber as Fifty Two Weeks of Socks. It's that beautiful yeah. paper and the beautiful binding. Yeah. 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 Lane Publishing. Yeah. Yeah. Just so it's really got quite a few nice classic garments. Looks like this one's held with mohair. Mm -hmm. I'm all about the mohair right now. Yeah. Cardigans. Oh, look at that. That that's you. You should make that one. That's a really long, nice. a long yeah. cardigan. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, just that's what I noticed when I was flipping through it. It's just really timeless, timeless garments. Men's yeah. cardigan. Lots of books. Lots of books leave out the men's stuff. Mm -hmm. They show this one on both um, a man and a woman, which I appreciate because yeah, most most things do not need to be different. But and this one is a great example of that. Like they're wearing the like I'm I'm assuming you know it came off her and went on him like the exact same yeah exact yeah. same sweater so definitely that's great yeah anyway I'm not going to show you the whole book but um it is new in store it is absolutely gorgeous um it was just released a week ago today so um it's good so that's all I brought to show cool beans um as far as oh no where did i put those okay. I did. <laughs> what are you laughing about <laughs> <laughs> like where did your name go usually it's canada yeah. post yeah oh the edition three no, Zauberball. Oh, very good. Yeah, I haven't had this in the store in a few years. Oh, yeah. So definitely. Yeah, so we got a few colors of Zauberball in. It's a That's soft nice. yarn. If you don't, if you're not um, familiar, it is. Let me see. These are some of my favorite socks. Seventy-five wool. Uh, 25 polyamide. Yeah. Where's the yardage? 100, 420 meters to the 100 grams. So, yeah. And it's the very like that marled color changing yeah. yarn. So I use that, I believe, to make a pair of socks for Mark. And they're a little did, bit, yeah. yeah, they're a little bit thicker, tiny bit thicker than, um, does that make oh. sense that they'd be a little bit thicker? I wouldn't think so. Maybe it was because I was still knitting on a two. Maybe. Yeah, on a two millimeter needle. So that's may probably why they it were felt, thicker. Felt like Anyways, they have worn like iron. They do. They're, yeah, like Mark has blown through all of his uh, his other hand dyed socks. Yeah, his merino socks, but those are still going strong. The ones the ones I've had for myself too are years old. I don't yeah. know. They could be they could be ten years old. I'm not exactly like something around there nine, yeah. ten years old. And yeah, they look they look like new. They're great. Yeah, and that would have been early on in my like collecting socks and like getting a bunch. So they would have got worn quite a bit in the beginning for sure too, because I didn't have as many as I do now. Yeah. So, yeah. Good, good, good. Anyway, I might need to, I do not need to cast on another pair. There's no <laughs> casting on. There's oh, no casting of, on. Speaking of casting but, on, did you yeah. see grocery girls are doing a comfort cardi? The Comfort Fade Cardi, Andrea oh. Mowry, yeah. knit along. Yeah. I, I, how many years since that one came out? I've wanted to do it. Okay, I, I need to do that. When are they casting on? Um, shortly, like mid March, maybe. Sorry, my phone. We can get the details and put it up because I think that would be fun. And it, yeah, same thing. It's been in my favorite since the week that it came out. Uh, yeah. years ago I think it's yeah. years ago like it's got to be four years it's been a, it's been a few years for sure yeah and I need one of those I need one of those too what are you doing are like I know you had said so I said um this Gideon method for getting through to finish out the 100 days and you're like I think I'm gonna do it forever and not have any more than five yeah things on the go yeah that way 
I think so. Yeah. I, I think I want to keep my whips under five. And I've also been thinking about this a lot. And I think I'm going to try to be more intentional when I'm choosing to knit things. Because we yeah. talked about the whole capsule wardrobe and... Um, I know the last couple of years I've, I've just been a machine and just knitting for the sake of knitting and mm -hmm. not slowing down. And I'm terrible for not doing swatches and I'll knit something doesn't fit. I'll just knit it again. So I think yeah. I want to try to be more intentional and really looking at, um, at materials and, um, making sure that it works with my wardrobe and yeah. Yeah. I think you've already got the materials thing down high. Like, you know, what, like what you're knitting with is always like sustainable. And, oh yeah. Know, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, doing a swatch and making I'm a point of doing a swatch and, uh, put the, put the time in at the beginning so that you're not wasting. Yeah. 80 hours. <laughs> Yeah. To find out it doesn't fit. Yeah, we both have a couple of those. Like, yeah, so Bridget chose your um her like the sweater you were doing for her as one of your first ones, which you're gonna have to sit and do math and repairs and whatever, which is good. It will be good to get that one out of the way. And then I have that one, the stripes sweater that was too big than from what I wanted. So I have to decide if I'm finishing it for myself, which is probably the way to go. Yeah, it's probably it's probably worth it to just finish it for myself and not waste time ripping it out. Mm -hmm. Well, on the the sweater that I have, the 1979 Raglan, I'm literally here. Like, that's all I've got to do. But I might have to go back a little bit to do the decreases quicker. Yeah, I thought that's what I thought you had to take it back to like where you joined the sleeves or something. I don't know if I have to go back that far, but Bridget claims that she'll wear it. So I'm thinking, I'm just going to finish it. Just Make sure it. that it's not slipping off of her shoulders and call it a day. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. And I think everybody should take Katrina's sweater fitting course. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I was going to go, I was going to, um, I was going to log into the last one. Uh, that was just a week ago, I think. Yeah. Um, but then it filled up so much that there was already like enough people and stuff. I was just like, no, whatever. I don't need every yeah. second. Um, maybe one day, one day when it's not quite a full class, I'll sit in on it. Yeah. Yeah. I should do the same thing. But. <laughs> Bubba. You can, Bubba, you can tell that it's getting close to dinner time. The cats have woken up. They're starting to wrestle. And all the birds are starting to like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie is making slurp yeah. noises. That's her, hey, is that somebody coming to the kitchen to fix me something? <laughs> He's funny. Yeah. He's funny. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, that's about it. So big day tomorrow. Basics is going to be in all the stores, all the stores, yeah. all the Not stores. All the stores. I, yeah. Um, thir 13, 13 yeah. stores. So that list is on our website at the top of the Leon Roxy website. Um, it's uh, under products. I'm just going to look quickly. It was on right Instagram. Spot. It was on Instagram today as well everybody like where where to find it yeah yeah so yeah support so, your lyss and yeah so at the top of the website it says product info and then it's new leon roxy basics it tells you about the basics the yardage all that kind of stuff and then it has the list of the stores that are carrying it so um i think i read this last time but i i could go over it again quickly so the little red mitten here in st thomas ontario um La Violette Yarn and Gift Company in New Brunswick, Nancy's Fiber Art in Beamsville, Ontario, Needles in the Hay in Peterborough, um, Beehive Wool Shop in Victoria, BC, Woolen Things in Orleans, Ontario, Spin Me a Yarn in Etobicoke, 
um, Stash in Calgary, Six and Stones in North Bay, Wabi Sabi in Ottawa, Tadagamoosh is no longer in Tadagamoosh. She moved. Well, that's weird. It still says Tadagamoosh on our website, so I forget where it's like went, went, worth, went something new, Nova Scotia. Still in Nova Scotia, you'll still be able to find them. It's Tadak Yamush Yarn Co. Yarn and Co. Uh, Twisted Stitches Fiber Company in uh, Alberta and <laughs> A La Lainery Lapine, Montreal, Quebec. Well done. Yeah. Did you say friend. Victoria? Beehive in Victoria, BC. Beehive. Okay, yeah. Good, yeah. good. So, all right. Well, yeah. um, that's that. Yep, that's it. That's it. That's a wrap. That's, that's a wrap, folks. Oh. Yep. So, thanks for joining us. And um, if you are finding it tolerable to sit through these, maybe subscribe, <laughs> thumbs up us, mm -hmm. don't thumbs down. And uh, we will see you in a couple of weeks. Bye. Bye. Yeah.